What is happening, my hot sauce homies? It's been a minute. Been really busy around here lately, but all good things. You know, this past weekend, we just did uh, one, we just did a festival. So what used to be a booth at the flea market has now become a tent that goes around to pop-up festivals throughout Charleston, South Carolina, because it turns out festivals are where it's at all year long. So this past weekend, we pitched our cat tent uh, at a, a local festival in a neighborhood. We freaking crushed, yo. People love small batch sauces. And I can't say that I blame them. But the thing is, the premise of the store, and I love telling everybody the story, is that small batch saucers from all over send me their sauces to review for this channel. And the ones that I like the most are the ones that we carry in the store. And, and then we share them with all of the people here in the Charleston area, uh, which leads me to this sauce right here house of hot sauce and more so the hope is for 2024 we had some changes we had some changes and some challenges in 2023 that doesn't mean that we didn't overcome them and that definitely doesn't mean that our future doesn't look brighter now for having gone through them so i'm really looking forward to 2024 where we continue to have the cap cave online just like we always have but to continue to spread the cap cave all around our local area and the hope is to start bringing in more and more and more sauces and telling everyone about more and more of the new brands that are coming out because at the end of the day by supporting the cat cave you're not only supporting my small business and dream but all the small businesses and dreams of all the people that we carry so let's see what we got here oh we have stickers how so hot sauce okay this is gonna be cool big rich is gore. okay i got a menu in here house of hot sauce and more what is this about I thought this was a menu, but it turns out that it's an entire backstory behind the House of Hot Sauce. And it sounds like the House of Hot Sauce is just like a capsaicin cake. This is amazing. So this guy, Big Rich, and his son, check out Big Rich. Big Rich and his son started making hot sauces together. Then they decided to take the plunge, start their own hot sauce business, buy their own hot sauce store. How great, man. I love this. I really, really do. And I want... I really, really hope that in the next few years, more attention is put on small batch makers. Cause I know that like we all talk about the rooster style Sriracha or Tabasco, Frank's Red Hot, whatever. But these, these small businesses, small batchers and all this stuff, coolest stories, coolest people. And I really hope that, that these small businesses get in front of the limelight more often. Well, this is freaking awesome. Well, you can shop our products online too. Our website is updated frequently and here's our website. interesting pack job you did there uh let me let me get this undressed and i'll meet back with you in a minute i don't i don't know either we've either got five little bottles of hot sauce or five little bottles of liquor either way i'm excited I'm just kidding. all right let's see what we've got together shall we this seems like we'll be fun let's undress it oh it is it, i am brown bagging it <laughs> okay oh oh damn it oh, what a Oh my God, what a surprise. Wow, Katie. Dude, I'm so far behind on reviews. I have talked to Big Rich. Big Rich is freaking awesome. Okay, so listen here. Oh my God, okay. Wow. <laughs> so Johnny Hexburg is a hot sauce legend. This dude makes all kinds of stuff. He's from South Africa and I'm here in South Carolina. So shipping things can be really expensive. So what what Hexburg did was shipped his sauces to the House of Hot Sauce and then the House of Hot Sauce shipped it to me. But me and Rich talked for a while on the phone. He's a super nice dude. He was really cool and told me that he'd be happy to help me in any way to grow my business just like he grew his. Oh my gosh, now it's all making sense. What a pleasant surprise. I have seen Johnny Hexburg sauces online for years. He has tons of different flavors and furthermore, they're from South Africa. So you know that that's gonna be a unique experience. Like like this one right here, caramel, caramel, caramelized onion. That's this sauce. Okay, what's the next one? Oh, I'm so thrilled. How fun was that? Trinidad Scorpion blend. 
I just think this is nice. Oh, Big Rich, thank you so much for making this happen. And Johnny Hexberg, thank you so much for sending me these because I have wanted to try your sauces for so long. Mozambican Perry Perry? What the hell is that? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Mozambican? Mozambican Perry Perry. Okay. Oh my gosh. And I love it because they're so unique, right? Like that's one of the things here in Charleston. There's so many local sauce makers and I don't, I don't necessarily want to carry them. Some of them I do, but most of them not so much because I want my simple Southern people that are just like me to experience all of the new flavors out in the world. Apocalypse Scorpion. That seems scary. And last but not least, Smoky Barbecue Blend. Very cool, man. This is gonna be so freaking neat. Go to this website if any of these sauces sound so good to you. <laughs> Get them. I think you can buy these at the House of Hot Sauce too if you are not from South Africa. And if you're from South Africa, then go directly to Johnny Hexpert. All right, let's, let's hurry up and taste these sauces and see what they're all about. It's just the highlight of my day, man. My fancy, a chase the heat spoon. That's how you know that I am a official hot sauce lunatic. Okay, I'm gonna start with the caramelized onion because I really want to know. First off, do you see all the personality inside of that bottle? <gasps> okay. Oh, the ingredients are super simple. Vinegar, water, onion, sugar, chili, herbs, spices, salt. Okay. Oh, dang. <gasps> Oh, by the smell of it, your mama lets you date? Ooh. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's so pretty. I'm so excited about that. It's like a sweet Vidalia onion taste. The mouthfeel is so smooth and creamy. Oh, it's got some garlicky in there. Oh, it is. It's herby. It's oniony, it's like sweet onion, herby, garlicky, smooth, that mouthfeel, man, that's outrageous. Burgers, all the way. Mmm. And it's got the chunks of herbs and spices. Oh my gosh. Homie's been in the game for a minute. So he knows what he's doing. That's freaking awesome. That doesn't even feel like it has a burn. It really doesn't. It doesn't even feel like it has a burn, it has a tang. Oh my God, I'm in love with you. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm detecting some garlic there, but that onion flavor, oh, chef's kiss. Yeah, I'm about that. That was good. Oh, my. That one, Whew, that was good. All right, Mazambican Peri Peri. Lemon juice is the first ingredient. Vinegar, water, oil, tomato, onion, bird's eye chili, garlic, herbs, and spices, and salt. That one smells really good too. Let's see. Oh, I'm so excited, Johnny Expert, Yay. Very good. Delicious. Just pleasant blast of flavor. Delicious, absolutely delicious. This one doesn't have the same creamy mouth feel that this one does, but it still has just an excellent flavor to it. It's delicious. It's a little bit more robust. Uh, a little bit smokier, a little bit. It's kind of how I'm feeling with it. So, to me, it's it's meaty, it's manly, it's smoky. It's put it on ribs or something, you know? Like, it feels like it's in that vein. Very, very good. Smoky barbecue blend. Vinegar, water, smoked pepper blend. Garlic, sugar, herbs and spices and salt. Okay, now I'm, I am South Carolinian American. I'm very curious to know what barbecue flavor is in South Africa. <laughs> If, if smoky barbecue tastes the same. Okay. Well, it definitely looks like, it looks like a Eastern Carolina vinegar based barbecue sauce. What it looks like. I have not barbecue from here. I did not barbecue from here at all. What's happening? It's hot. It's very spicy. Not vinegary at all. It is very spicy. What kind of pepper did you use? It's smoky, but not like super smoky. Ow, it's got the back of my throat. Whew. Oh God. Let's do it again. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Like it looks like a vinegar based Carolina sauce or Carolina barbecue sauce. 
Got bits and flecks of love in there. It's exactly what it says it is. It's sweet, it's smoky, hot, but not too hot, I don't think. I think it's shot, it's surprisingly hot. But if you put it on like barbecue, which I totally feel like pulled pork barbecue sandwich or something, definitely the heat would dissipate, but it would be enough to still be enjoyable. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Now it's about to get real, I think. Oh gosh. Mm. Mm. God. Yeah, that's so good. Oh, have fun. These flavors are awesome. That's what I really love. They're kind of like hot sauce, meat sauce, right? If that makes any sense. And before we move on, I just need to take a slight break. Why? Because I want to. Oh, I just love you so much. That right there is just good. I'm getting scared because this was a smoky barbecue. It didn't say, oh, danger, beware. <laughs> like this one, Trinidad Scorpion Butch Tea. You hear that? Butch, super butch. <laughs> Vinegar, water, sugar, Trinidad scorpion, butch tea. I don't know what that is. Fruit, salt, herbs, and spices. What or who is butch tea? We know memento. Well, I consult Le Googles. Oh, that's the name, Trinidad scorpion, butch tea, pepper. I have never, ever heard of that before. It looks dangerous. This is gonna hurt, okay. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh. It smells lemony. Why does it smell lemony? Vinegar, water, sugar. I'm still burning from this sucker because this is going to suck. 20% Trinidad Scorpion Butch Tea. And it doesn't say what type of fruit, but if I had to guess, I'd say it's a lemon one. All right, let's see how bad it can. Oh yeah, I would definitely say it's a lemon one. Look at that color. Let's see how it is. Mm. Oh, oh, Johnny Hexburg. Ah, it's lemony. Oh. oh, it's so lemony and so zesty. It's like, it's like a spicy lemonade. Oh, you know how I love lemons. Oh. without like the body of it, with how watery it is, I definitely say this is one of those sauces that you could put a little sizzle in the sip, if you know what I mean. Maybe you're making drinks or something. This would go great in a cocktail or like a margarita, even a mojito. It has this really awesome lemony freshness to it. Oh, I love you. Dang, I didn't know if you could top this one, boy, but you try it. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I could just straight drink that from the bottle. And I, I was really scared about the Trinidad Scorpion. No. It's sweet, it's zesty. Oh, oh, in the mouthfeel. It has the nice, smooth, velvety mouthfeel like this one did without all the herbs and stuff. Killer. <coughs> See, I told you. Don't inhale it, just eat it. I get so excited. Okay. <coughs> all right, moving on. This is the Danger Will Robinson, Apocalypse Scorpion. Just in case you're wondering, it's getting hot in here. Poof, let me take my bouffant to the other side. Apocalypse scorpion, huh? Okay. Vinegar, water, sweet pepper, apocalypse scorpion. <laughs> I have eaten a, an a, apocalypse pepper. The first one I ever ate came from Jeff Rimmert. And it was the first time that I ever had severe calf cramps. And I figured he had named that pepper himself because it's the end of the world. Uh, it was so freaking hot. And I had it again a few years later after I had been eating peppers a lot longer and it didn't burn quite so bad. The, the apocalypse pepper has definitely <laughs> got some stank on it. Yeah, I definitely earned my my wings when it came to an apocalypse pepper because the yeah the first time I ever ate one, I went through the burn, the burn subsided, fine, a few hours later, go to sleep, no big deal, wake up and think, oh my God, someone has shot me in the stomach. But then I got sick and it was all good. So that's, that's the bailout. Oh, it doesn't smell, it smells great. Oh, vinegar, water, sweet pepper, apocalypse, scorpion, black beans? Onion, apricot, preserves, 
garlic, sugar, herbs, and spices. I'm drooling. I was about to pour the sauce. <laughs> I ain't thinking anymore. I'm burning a bit. That's okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, all right. Black beans and apricot preserve? Where'd you come up with this? It's gonna hurt, isn't it? Damn, that's good too. Are you bad? What is that? That's so weird. I can definitely taste the apricots. And somehow they blend well with black beans. Who'd ever thought that? Is that thing y'all do out there in South Africa? In the plains with the zebras? Right? No. That's not y'all. <laughs> I am but a simple southerner. Don't mind me. Doesn't have as much of a burn as I thought it would. And that's a good thing. Because honestly, I think flavor before heat. But you got both here. Wow, that's just great. It's smoky. Um... The apricot gives it a really interesting, <laughs> it gives it a really interesting flavor to have a smokiness. It has a robustness and then it has, I guess the black beaniness. Johnny Hexburg, I've heard about you forever, sir. Hats off to you. These are stellar, absolutely stellar. I think I'm going to have to say these two are 100% my favorites. Absolutely delicious. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to start using these on everything. Big Rich of the House of Hot Sauce, Johnny Hexburg. Guys, thank you so much for making this happen. You have definitely taken my taste buds on a trip around the world, and I have fallen madly in love. These are incredibly unique. I don't, I don't think I've ever had anything like these. They are spectacular. So what I would like for you to do, if you are here in the States, I have provided information to their websites down in the description box below. Go check them out. I'm gonna be coming up with different ways to use these, posting them all over my social media and get generating awareness for awesome culinary sauces such as these. Longer video than usual. If you've made it this far, thanks so much for hanging with me. If you love this type of content and you enjoy learning about all of the small business, small batch sauces from all over the world, uh, then please drop me a like and a follow because that's pretty much what we do here is just bring awareness to small brands and talk about sauce because that's just my happy place. And this is where I go to geek out on that kind of thing. So anyway, God bless. Y'all take care.